Almost one year ago, I released a video covering British engines that ran in the United States, where they'd be simply visiting, spent most of their time in Britain and remained in the States, or simply built overseas for full-time American use. Of course, this doesn't mean that engines from other nations didn't run in the States as well, and some of them also remained in the US as static displays or tourist operations. While researching engines for the British Invasion video, I was informed of a red coffee pot that was preserved in America with little info about it, until I eventually found a photo of said engine a year later. After asking around, I eventually learned that this coffee pot in fact came from Belgium, and after hopping from one northeastern hairdryer to another, it's currently under restoration to working condition at the Northern Central Railway. This is a short but fascinating story of the Prince de Liege. Since there is relatively little info on this rare engine, as well as almost no photos of this engine for that matter, parts of its history are debated or incorrectly stated, such as the engine being French or owned by the Belgian State Railways, SNCB. The first of these two misconceptions is in regards to its builder, the Société Anonyme de Saint-Lénard of Liège. Even though such a name is French, this company was located in the city of Liège in Belgium with the French name as a result of the relatively small country often utilizing French, English, and Dutch as primary languages, while not having an official language of their own. But one of the most unusual features of this engine is its boiler, as it was the sixth member built in 1877 as part of the company's 2CD series with only 25 horsepower and was given the serial number 466. Now a vertical boiler engine, or 040 VBT in this case, usually has simpler maintenance and somewhat poor steaming, but even though the vertical boiler or coffee pot is primarily British design, another Belgian company named Society Anonyme John Cockerill produced a large number of these standard gauge industrial coffee pots, and many more than St. Leonard and Liège. In regard to 466, the engine supposedly worked on the Anglier Steelworks as engine 336A, before eventually moving to the Charbonnages du Hussard, or Hussard coal mines located roughly on the earth end of Liège. Since the latter of these two locations was technically shut down the same year the engine was built in 1877 and later reopened in 1907, it's assumed that 336A worked at the steelworks before later being transferred to the coal mine. Here, it worked with sister coffee pots 464 and 465, where these rare vertical boiler engines served the coal mine all the way until 1960, straight through both world wars, meaning 336A had an 87-year service life in Belgium. Not too long after, the engine was purchased by Winock F. Ogaerts, a Belgian engineer taking graduate work in business at Columbia University, who eventually agreed to place 336A on display at the soon-to-be-opened Steamtown Tourist Road in Bella Falls, Vermont, as one of a handful of international engines. Among the 75 other steam engines in Nelson Blount's collection, this engine was surprisingly the oldest in the entire roster, even though it was only used as a static display. It's also here where the engine was incorrectly labeled in Steamtown brochures as being from the Belgian State Railways and number 3364, and was given the name Prince de Liège based on the letters PCE, which was an abbreviation for province instead of Prince, but the latter of the two words stuck and became a more suitable nickname for 336A. Eventually, most of the Steamtown collection along with 336A was moved to its current location at Scranton, Pennsylvania, but financial strains forced the museum to auction some of its collection in 1988. One of the engines listed for sale was 336A, as it was purchased by a private owner who displayed it at the former Erie Railroad Depot in Susquehanna, Pennsylvania, also known as the Staruka House, with various other coaches from the Northeast, where this engine is the most photographed. Then around 2015, the engine was purchased again and moved to Pitts in Pennsylvania for planned restoration, where it sat neglected before being moved again two years later to the Allentown and Auburn Tourist Bureau, where it underwent heavy repairs in their Topton shops. In 2021, the engine was moved again to the North Central Railway in New Freedom, Pennsylvania for finishing touches of the restoration, including a new boiler and reassembly of new parts, as the Heritage Railroad is planning to operate 336A various excursion and even hand-on throttle runs. Upon completion, the small engine will hold several records, including the only operating standard gauge European-built steam locomotive in Pennsylvania and the United States, and the only operating vertical boiler locomotive in North America. You can help the restoration of this engine by donating to this project on the Northern Central Railway's website with the project donation link in the video's description, and even if you can't make a donation, 
simply raising awareness of this little-known gem in international railway history helps spread interest in lesser-known restoration projects as well as a greater understanding of railway history as a whole to millions of people. Thank you all for watching. Credit for all the photos used go to their respective photographers. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Have a good day.